Years after Stephen Smith's death was ruled a highway vehicular manslaughter, authorities in South Carolina have determined that Smith, whose body was found on a road near the Murdoch home in the summer of 2015, died of a homicide. According to the law firm representing Smith's mother, the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division disclosed the information during a phone call. Attorney Eric Bland added in a statement, we have a chance to right eight years of wrongs and we intend to do just that. According to a press release, from the law firm. Investigators reopened Smith's case in June of 2021 after they found new evidence connected to his death while investigating the murders of Maggie and Paul Murdoch. Alec Murdoch was convicted of their murders earlier this month and was handed two life sentences. Last week, Smith's mother, Sandy, launched a GoFundMe campaign to raise money in order to exhume his body for an independent autopsy to prove he didn't die of a hit and run. As of Tuesday, it raised over 80 $5,000. In a statement, authorities say they do not need to exhume Smith's body to convince them that his death was a homicide, but they will be present and participate in order to gather more evidence. On Monday, Alex's only surviving son, Buster Murdoch, vehemently denied having anything to do with Smith's mysterious death. In a statement released by his attorney, he called rumors of his involvement vicious and said he tried his best to ignore them as he grieves the murders of his mother and brother.